What up grinders? We're here doing a free roll here on the party poker. We got a free ticket. That's my son trying to be a cat. The 12 days of Christmas, we got a free ticket here. We started out with 5,200 people, 5,248. So a big player field. We are in first place and we're down to 87 players. Um, here's what we have locked up. Uh, uh, 15 big blinds, two shows. Wow, that's close. This guy's been so tight. Uh, with the chips we have, I think we're gonna call here. Oh, we need a jack or a nine. We get a jack. Booyah! That's a good way to start. Um, so that's gonna secure our our um, our lead on the tournament. Let's slide this over a little bit. So yeah, we're in first pace here. Um, right now, the payout right around two dollars and sixty-two cents, and there's the it's three hundred and six up top, first place. So let's see how it goes. Um, if you look at my stats down here, they're very aggressive because it's a free-for-all. I've been abusing a lot of the players who aren't that experienced, so it's been going well. And when you win a flip like that, or one that you needed a big card there, that really helped. He was low stack though, with the money in the pot and the antes and all that, it's a, a standard call in that spot. We're gonna raise up ace nine suited here. Not too many people are gonna to want to play with us, so we should be able to take a lot of these blinds and annies. Put some pressure on them. They're all trying to make money. It's a free roll. Um, when we got around the bubble, so the top 664 people paid uh, 94 cents. When we were about 100 people from that, I raised at one point, honestly, like 30 hands in a row. One time someone fired back to me. Oh, I might as well put that back up there. And then I went right back to it. Uh, Ace nine, we got a call here. No diamond, no diamond. Nice, that was a scary turn. So we still make money off that because the bounties and the annies. And the good thing is it gives us credit. People saw that we're not just raising with crap. But we do get sixes under the gun. If I didn't have this chip lead, I would not pay this hand. That's my son of you guys here. Someone being kidding. Come, come say hi. Come talk right in the microphone. Say what up to everyone. Say what up, YouTubers. You could tell him that you but your channel. Meow, meow, meow. Oh yeah, he's being a cat. That's my son, the cat. Um, we're gonna fold to a three bet. I haven't seen a. There's only been a couple three bets. This is a free throw tournament. The skill level in this isn't gonna be too that too good. So when I run to a player who's proper bet sizings, and I'm sixes out of positions there, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call that. It's a really powerful move there. No point of punting away our chip. Okay, so yeah, what I was going to say is I was very aggressive around the bubble. Uh, I just raised every single hand and I made so many chips. Okay, buddy. You, you gotta stop banging the table though, okay? Thank you. You want to tell him that you went bowling today and you got a strike? So we have a pretty good chip lead. Okay, aces versus ace king. Ace king's drawn dead. We haven't had aces yet in this tournament. Uh, I have been blessed with cards, I'm not gonna lie. I had, well, but I got crushed in them. So I had pocket king, queens and uh, what? Okay, you can tell. I went bowling and I got a strike. Strike. Um, I had pocket queens early in the tournament. Went all in, lost to pocket sevens, and I had pocket jacks, and I lost all in to pocket tens. So we have took a bit of bad beats. <laughs> Fresh down here, what place? How many people left? Down to 81 people. Oh, that guy, did he just get pocket aces twice? Must be nice, but share the wealth. This gets to me, I'm gonna open everything with our chip stack. Uh, this small blind is the tightest person I've ever played in MTTs. So I only got one person to worry about here. I could go a little smaller here, but with our chips, I'm gonna make it big for them to call. 
See that this guy just won't play a hand. If when he finally does, I'll just bow to him. This person's three bet us one, so he's we'll see if that was just because they finally picked up a hand or they're playing poker. If he continues to do it, I don't mind making my, my raise a little smaller and tightening up my range a bit. But right now with our chip stack and with how big these blinds and andies are, let's keep punishing them. Okay, now it's you can talk, you don't whisper, they can't hear you if you whisper. You can tell them a secret, but you gotta talk a little louder, they can't hear it. Guys, how did you know that? I love you guys. Okay, that was a risky raise because how how many blinds, but five big blinds here. And I never got, and I never got stunned by a bee or wasp or anything. Okay, should I make this a little smaller? We're getting a little. Let's go a little smaller here. Let's go 18,000. We're gonna start losing credit awfully soon here, but we will call that all in, the guy with 25,000. And this is the same way I'd be playing if it was a tournament under, you know, the under the ten dollar range with this chip lead this deep. People are trying to rank up. They're trying to move up in uh, spots. Um, they're afraid to fire back. They're not gonna make too many moves on you. They're gonna wait for them to have a hand. Like I said, obviously we'll call this guy. We're pretty much all in already. <clears throat> okay, we're down to eighty people. Okay, you gotta stop hitting the mic though on the table. It's really loud for them. That is my five-year-old son. He's being a cat. So we've been playing for four hours and 40 minutes. And like I said, I won this off 12 days of Christmas. For 12 days in a row, they gave you a free scratch card and you won different things. And this was a free, uh, free entry to this tournament. Ace five under the gun, no problem with doing that. Just lay it down. Uh, ace five suited, I would have opened, and off suit probably ace jack and above. Even ace jack, I'm not too happy about under the gun, but we do have a chip lead. But I wouldn't call too many three bets unless they didn't know how to size it properly. This would be really nice to get a, a bankroll boost here. Our bankroll for the year, we're trying to get to 10k. We are at 556. So, small downswing. We were just on a peak, at just over $600. Most of you guys would know if you know my channel, I usually play the spin and goes or the jackpot tables three handed at the $5 stakes right now. I'm trying to work my way up the stakes. <clears throat> It's 
not live though, so they're not gonna wait. They're not gonna see this until I upload it, so no one can actually hear you right now. If one more person calls, this guy's all in. We were priced in the call there. Watch where you hit. I have a lot of cords over there, okay? okay. Yo! Are you doing Are you going to put your markers back in your office? If anyone's seen this guy, I'm going to raise him every time. He is right beside us, but he's just the tightest player of all time. Where is he from? Don't say Russia with a name like that. Sweden. I just said that because Russians are usually the complete opposite. It was going to mess with my whole philosophy of Russians. Really, it's been pretty standard. Uh, it's just a free free for all. The guys are playing crazy early it's on, and now that we're in the money, they tighten up. Wow, well, he was that tight. He finally made a stand. Okay, we got Ace King. It's not the hand that usually does this well, but we're gonna play it the way we should play it. Fourteen big blinds. I'm gonna raise them. And I think we're gonna go so 32, 48, 52, 5. If he wants to go all in, we'll go all in. He's 15 bigs. Nathan. Okay, don't hit yourself too hard, bud. I'm not crazy happy to call a re-raise from that's a four bet from the Russian. We are pot committed now though. That would take a big stunk. Uh, we'll still be in top three, but it would hurt us. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. He's been tight. Nice. <clears throat> I have no problem taking it down there. If they call, you're usually flipping, so. And I'm gonna go back to doing what we do here. Um, if that's 20, let's go back to 18. Let's go back to 18. These guys aren't fighting back. Let's keep using our muscles. Man, it feels good. I haven't played an MTT in a long time. I've just been playing spin and goes. Uh, I had a lot of success on uh, Poker Stars with uh, MTTs. I got out of them just because the format, just how long they take. Like I don't usually, especially during the day, four and a half hours already. Like this is a lot longer than I usually grind for. Are you actually making a video? I'm making a video right now, but I'll do one C bet here. I'm gonna go a little smaller. And then I'll shut down after this, unless we catch a king. Nice. So using our stack, using our position. It's pretty easy when they're not firing back at you. No one's hitting. But as you can see, we're not hitting either. We're just using our cards and our chips, or sorry, our position and our chips. Down to 71 players. How much does that lock us up? 71 we're about to get three dollars and eight cents we will take it <clears throat> so it looks like on the obviously the middle of this table they're about to have a huge promotion 
$15 million in guaranteed tournaments from January 21st to February 4th. Today is January 13th. I've been seeing them promote that. Their big, their big uh, tournament, uh, or I guess tournament series is the word I'm looking for. So it wouldn't be a bad time to get back in MTTs, but I'm really committed to these spin and goes right now. Uh, let's keep doing 18,000 if someone wants to dance. Question is, do we want to call 17 bigs? Now we, we have a lot more bigs in there though. We have one, two, two and a half, so it'd be 15 bigs. I think, we, I think we'd have to call it the chips we have. We block ace, king, ace, queen. You need to win flips to win these. Is he going to do it? He's got aggressive stats for 10 hands. Doesn't mean much, but they are more aggressive than a lot of these better players. Here's the other big boy on the table. Dad, yeah, but Well, in five minutes we got a, a tournament break. Why do you want the end of the video? Because... Um, I don't like the music. You don't like the music? Okay, well, it's in, fi my ears. in five minutes, I'm going to pause it, and then we can pick new music, or I can shut the music off. Music. Here, I'll turn it down, okay? And the winner is me! <laughs> I might. I've never edited a video, but you don't want to sit down here, bud. Mm, this is. Uh, I do not like this hand, but you know what? With how tight this table's playing, I guess we got to. I'm not crazy happy about doing this, but no one's doing nothing. So in that sense, I guess we raise it up, right? We'll tread lightly, though. Ten big blinds on the the big blind. Okay, well, if my son just went upstairs to see his mom, I guess we can go back to turning up a bit of the tunes. <clears throat> so I'm hoping to make this into a couple parts, because I'm not going to have you guys sit here on the break. So I will start part two after the break, and if we get to the final table, well, then we'll have a final table one, so hopefully three parts. Okay, there's a three bet, and Jack King, and he's got position on us. How big is that? So 66 is what I would have called. It's pretty big, good sizing. Wow, Jack King actually does pretty good against three bets, but... So that's the risk of racing under the gun with a hand like that. You don't want to call too many. It's the one other deep stack in the, <clears throat> in the whole table that could cripple me. So if we lost, that'd be half our chips. We knew someone was eventually going to throw you at us. <clears throat> no big deal, we're still going to get raising. That could just mean he finally had aces. These guys have been pretty soft, so <clears throat> until it happens a couple more times, we'll keep doing what we're doing. Uh, eight big blinds, I have to call this. Hold, hold, no spade. Uh, he got there. <clears throat> so we lose a flip there. Ah. Still have the chip lead though, but that definitely uh, hurt a bit, but no big deal. Standard flip. Down to 65 players. Sixty-five. 
we have three dollars and 42 cents locked up seven five we will open if it gets to us just keep abusing these big blinds anyone raises will fold I haven't been three betting at all seven five is if it was suited I would definitely be three betting I do have position on this guy but I don't, I don't even get crazy with this someone could rejam here 18 big blinds 23 those are definitely rejam spots if I just call <clears throat> Ace nine, if it comes to us, we're gonna raise. And we'll probably go 22. Yeah, let's do the 22. These stack sizes are getting right run. They should be reshoving us with any of their aces, their broadways, their low pocket pairs, mid pocket pairs, all that kind of stuff. So I do expect to get raised a lot of times with the stack sizes where we're at. The 40, 50, you know, 45 big blinds, they wouldn't do it as much, but right around 20 is when they start looking to double up. This guy's at 15 bigs. It's real questionable if we call it the ace nine. Real questionable. I don't know my ranges as much. I haven't been playing MTTs. But I think we should with what's already in the, in the middle with the blinds and all that and what we've already raised. But I, I wouldn't be mad if someone folded that or or called. Um, I'm gonna end the uh, part one here, guys. It's break time. Let me just tell you what place we're in. So we're in second place, and we're down to 63 people.